Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can uh, create or visualize the uh, parent child hierarchy. So this is something uh, important in some scenarios, like for example, uh, in an organization, you have managers and you have the employees uh, under them. So if you want to have some sort of a requirement where you want to create sort of an hierarchy, because even manager can have an another manager and that senior manager can have another manager who is like senior to that. So if that is sort of an hierarchy that you need to create, and basically see it then this is what i want to show you in this video and i hope uh, by this after this video you will know everything that you need to do however it is quite simple okay and before uh, i move ahead if you have landed very first time on my channel then just want to let you know that this sheet is a live sheet a live google sheet and the link of this sheet is present in the description so you can go to the description and get this all right um, and since this is uh, live so all of my fu future videos will be present so you can bookmark it and use it as part of your power bi learning and where i will keep on uh, presenting these custom solutions uh, which i think is useful for custom scenarios also for step-by-step -step learning you can create your own curriculum from here with that, let me go to the Power BI. Uh, but before that, let me show you this Excel, which is having the employee ID. It's a very small data set that I have created, which is employee and manager. And if you see, this is employee ID. What is the employee name? And who is the manager? So looks like in this organization, Rajesh is basically is the uh, high, top in the hierarchy. That's why there is no manager. It's like a CEO, right? And you, ha you have other employees over here. And then you their respective managers. For example, you have Abhishek whose manager is Vishal, uh, Vishal whose manager is Rajesh and Rajesh is basically the top manager and Varun whose manager is Vishal which is here, Nisha whose manager is Abhishek, Karuna whose manager is Abhishek, Jason whose manager is Vishal. So this is sort of a custom hierarchy, custom sample data set that I have created. But just to give you an idea, this can be <coughs> the product hierarchy. This can be employee manager hierarchy. This can be some country, region, um, those type of a hierarchy. So wherever you can think of a hierarchy and you need to create some sort of relation and want to sort of, um, uh, you know, do an operation on that, then this can work like a charm. All right. With that, let's now finally go to the Power BI. So first thing first, let's take, take this uh, Excel workbook, which is employee and manager. Uh, I will open it up and uh, I will say, yeah, sheet one. So managers are coming fine and I can load the data and this will be coming in a couple of seconds. So sheet one, second instance is now here. So you will see that you have employee ID, employee manager and manager ID, the same thing what we have seen it over there. Now for creation of this hierarchy, we have to go into the data model. So we, uh, sorry, the data sheet. So in this data sheet, uh, what I need is basically this particular sheet. So this particular sheet is having this one, uh, employee ID, employee name, manager, manager ID, and now what I need to do, I need to create a new column. So a new column will be created here, which we can then use it in our visualization. So I will create a new column and uh, we will say EMP, MGR, something like that. And we will going to use the inbuilt function path. So path is the function which I want to introduce here that basically takes two columns, the ID, that means the employee ID and the parent, that means the manager. It's as simple as that. So you have the employee ID, comma, the manager ID, and we are done. That's all what we need. And uh, basically the, the inbuilt engine will going to take care of everything that needs to happen here. So if I click this, and uh, then you see, all of these new variables are created. So if you see Rajesh is the first employee, right? And you have Abhishek and Vishal. Uh, Abhishek whose manager is Vishal, which is basically 
the third level in the hierarchy. So you have Rajesh, you have Vishal, and then you have Abhishek, right? Now in this case, in case of a Vishal, the manager is Rajesh. That means the hierarchy is only of two levels. And you have Varun and Vishal. So that means one, two, and four. So third hierarchy is not present, right? So Varun and Vishal, Nisha and Abhishek. So one, two, three, and five. So if this is the sort of an hierarchy that you are looking to create, and in future videos, I will be showing you how you can basically access a specific element or find an element or things like those via different types of functions so that you are not only aware about how you can create a, this type of a hierarchy, but also you can uh, manipulate, you can basically find and uh, find the length and things like those into the, um, into the Power BI. So with that, uh, I hope you found it useful uh, where we wanted to create a hierarchy and for uh, next video, I'll, uh, I'll meet, I'll actually meet you in the next video for that. With that, thank you so much.